Yeah, hi everybody. We're into April 2019. The 2nd of April was a couple of weeks ago, but there wasn't a lot of, in the numismatic collection this month. But I'll tell you what, Perth Mint has been very busy. There's been five major bullion releases released just within the last two to three weeks, and this is probably the biggest of them all. Here is the 2019 Swan. The third in the series, and just an absolutely beautiful coin. Once again, we've got mother, baby, and... Uh, Presumably dad in the background. Just a stunning coin. So these went on sale from the Perth Mint this morning and they sold out within one hour. Mintage of only 25,000 for this one. I notice Abmex um, don't have theirs available yet. They've got them listed but not available. So I'm guessing they'll be, uh, they'll be available very shortly but the Perth Mint, as of the 15th of April, have sold out, and I was very lucky because I managed to get um, managed to get a few of these. So um, here's basically half a roll, and here is a uh, here is a full roll. But yeah, I, no doubt these will continue to be very popular. Beautiful. And just um, a week or so ago, or two weeks ago, was the release of another major bullion coin, and this is the third dragon. In fact, as I predicted with the last video, the, uh, the third dragon coin is a double dragon. So here it is. The 2019 double dragon. Again, just a, a beautiful example. Uh, the mintage on this one is uh, 50,000 and uh, they have sold out. Sold out from the mint. So as you well know, there were, there's now three of these. The previous one was the Dragon and Tiger, which is had been one of my favourite coins, still is. And the very first in the series, of course, was the uh, Dragon and Phoenix. So there's the set. There's the three of them now. In fact, um, they have produced another another version of the uh, Tiger and Dragon, and that is the or Dragon Tiger Silver Proof coin. So I do have the two ounce high relief that I've shown before. That was about eight months ago. And this is the one ounce proof. The box is the same as the gold coin box, although this is the silver. And this has a mintage of um, two and a half thousand. There it is. Just love those uh, dragon and tiger coins. So there's the proof, and once again there is the bullion. The next major bullion release within the last couple of weeks was this one, the new Bird of Paradise, the second in the series. And according to the blurb, this bird is called a Trumpet Manicode with its open beak. All right. It's a beautiful coin. And you might remember last year's, the Rifle Bird. Which again was one of my favourites. I really loved this uh, this earlier one. And it looks like it is going to be a series. So there's all of the series so far. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. And of course, there's plenty of birds of paradise to choose from. So I'm sure this is going to be a, lo an, uh, a long series if they continue it. Beautiful. 
the premium on the Bird of Paradise coins is higher than the other coins, for whatever reason. But these are still available, the mintage is 50,000. Uh, another bullion coin that came out a few weeks ago was the the um, Welcome Stranger nug Gold Nugget coin. Somebody's commented, you know, why isn't this in gold? Well, of course it is. Every coin that I've shown you, every Perth Mint silver bullion coin also comes as a gold coin. So I've seen the gold version of this. It is beautiful. Um, and this particular nugget features has featured in many Perth Mint coins in the past. In fact, if you ever come here and do the, the, the mint tour, which they do seven times a day, seven days a week, um, one of the first things they show you is a reproduction of this nugget. So it's always been uh, synonymous with this mint, and I guess uh, part of its history to some extent. But yep. And if I didn't say it already, the, um, the mintage on this one is um, 30,000. 30,000. And it is sold out as well. Okay. So this didn't last long. Um, the the, the um, nugget coins in this country are quite popular. People like seem to like this stuff. So there it is. So and the final, the final major bullion release this month was this one here, a, a local tribute to the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. Um, and the link, once again, as I featured in an earlier video, is that um, the, the actual um, footage of the moon landing uh, was transmitted back to Earth via a satellite link in the outback of Australia. So that's, that's the link to here. But this coin looked nothing in some of the graphics that I saw for it when it was first promoted. Um, but looking at the coin itself, it is really nice. And once again, comes as a gold version as well, which... Looks even nicer, but uh, it's a beautiful coin. I remember this, um, or watching this on TV way back in 1969. I was in high school. Um, and it made a big impact on my life. So much so that when I finally got in, to go and visit the US from the other side of the world, uh, nine years later, um, as a part of the tour, we went to Houston and visited um, what was then known as the LBJ Space Center. I think it's the Kennedy Space Center. And uh, while I was there, I bought this little medallion there. A souvenir of the Apollo 12 mission. I thought I'd lost this thing for 40 years and two weeks ago my daughter found it amongst her stuff. It's funny I always pictured this coin being so much bigger than it is but it's certainly um, big in terms of its image. It's a very high depth detailed image. Love this little thing. It's only made of nickel or copper but um, yeah, it means a lot to me. So glad I found it again. There it is. So that's the moon landing. Um, that's all. Okay, see you next time guys, all the best.